Hey YouTube. Let me tell you the real story on how my wife and I met. So hard. I don't know. This is why she. I was natural a second ago, but now. Cause you got it down here, like. What is this? I can't look down at the YouTubers. They want to look down at me. Hey YouTube. Uh, so this is what happened. Uh, it was love at first sight. You know, of course she loved me when she first see me, and uh, you could tell when someone looked at you and they'd be like, "Ooh." They feeling you? I see her looking at me with her little friend. So what I did was I was like, nah, I'm gonna play it cool. Where's my animal? And I'm gonna uh, focus on my school because that's what I'm here for. Right. And uh, uh excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> so this girl, you know, but I saved. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this girl and her friend, they sitting there, you know, thinking I can't hit them, judge boys. You did not hear us. I heard y'all. No, you uh, did not. Maybe you were like two steps away from me. No, I was not. Okay. Look, this is why I want to do it in secret. Because she over here. But you should have did it. She didn't know nothing. So I heard. <laughs> okay. I heard them both pointing in like, oh, he cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now nah, I'm liking him. He good. Uh, uh, right? <laughs> Laughing and giggling and stuff. And then um, I thought she was cute. She was a little dirty girl from the Bronx. But I could definitely oh. tell. You know, she had the potential to be being real cute, you know. She didn't have no hair. Because if you didn't know, in the Navy, they cut up all your hair. And we back, y'all. So, where I left off at, uh, yeah, I heard this girl with no hair and her little friend with no hair talking about, you know, all the dudes in the room. And I'm like, you know what? Focus. You know what that is? Focus on them. Mm -mm. Focus on school, right? So I'm over here, like trying to concentrate. Long story short, um, I ended up making friends and uh, met this one dude, and ended up talking to my lovely wife. Didn't even know that she was going to be my wife, but he was talking to her, and I was just like, mm -hmm. all right. Just to broaden that situation, both of them were kind of, uh, you know, not really feeling each other, but they was talking, right? Uh, so he was the reason why I was even speaking to her because he would bring her around or she would be around him and then he would come around us and then we would just be talking about New York and eating chopped cheeses and bacon, egg and cheese and bacon, egg and cheese. Drinking water, snapples, and all that New York stuff, Fax beat. And then, uh, you know, we just started bonding like that. And um, we, 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 me and her actually had a, a stronger friendship than me and him because we had more to relate to. Um, then something happened where it was like, like a rumor happened where he was talking to some other chick while talking to her, but the rumor was, like everyone, the rumor was going around that she was okay with it, like she knew about it, and so I was like, wait, we from the same hood, both from the Bronx, and she's okay with sharing a man? It's crazy, right? So, she hit me up and she was talking, and I was just like, hey, so, you, you, you tracking on this rumor, right? Like. You sharing, you sharing your dude, where did you do that at, right? And she was like, what? I was like, whoops, but I snitched. All right, so, backtrack. What's up, how you doing? I should be. She's like, nah, what you talking about? What you talking about? Right? I was like, look, I don't even know what you talking about. I didn't even say nothing. So I tried to walk away, and then, basically, low-key dry snitch, but I think she already knew, because she was like, oh, like, it was like, Split second, she already found out what was going on. So, uh, um, after that, you know, I guess she started to feel me more because of, you know, she was like, oh, this dude kept it real, you know, yeah, ah, ah, ah. And I was just like, all right, cool, feeling her too. And we would be talking. 
walking in the staircase, and then old girl here beat me to the punch, right? So it was like one romantic talk, we was talking, and I was about to lean in. I was like, tell myself, like, right, now this is a good time, lean in, kiss her. No, 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 no. And then she was like, are you playing too much? Lean in, kiss me. I was like, what? So I was kind of hurt that I had to get my manhood back. So I was like, all right. All right. So I grabbed her by the back of her head and kissed her. And I was like, look, I do the kissing around here. And I walked off, right? And then I was just like floating on clouds when I went to my room. And uh, low key, I don't even think no one asked each other out. We just started dating, I guess. We started talking on the weekends. We hang out, spend a lot of time together. Uh, if anyone knows me, I'm a big romantic dude, like, I love romance, so, we did, like, dates, and, like, like, I don't know, like, I like, I like going out with just a debit card, and whatever happens, happens, you know, so we went out, we had dinner, then we went to a movie, and then it started raining, so we went and bought some, uh, hoodies, like these little Mexican hoodies, we was in Texas. And we just went around with these little Mexican hoodies, taking pictures, and just kissing in the rain. It was just, ah, uh, gushy, right? Comes time for us to leave, right? I'm done with school, she's not. And, like, I'm a big, big believer in not crying in front of anyone, right? So I used to always think that crying makes you weak, do not cry, whatever. So I always thought that. And then uh, what happened was, it was time to leave and I cried. No, I'm about to cry again. No, I'm not. Okay, so I was hu hugging her and I was crying. And I was just like, yo, why am I even crying? Like, two months ago, I didn't even know who you was. And now I'm crying. That's mad cheesy. Like, she was like, don't worry, baby. We're going to make it work. And I'm just like, no, we're not. But this is nice. Like, hurry. I'm not stupid. You're going to leave me. I know it. I'm gonna leave you too. It's okay. Right? So, um, I get to North Carolina and we still talking and like we still dating and it's beautiful. And she comes see me from, from Texas to North Carolina. I'm just like, yo, this is, this is crazy. It feels crazy. And I did, I put all the stops like hotel, uh, 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 Like, it was dope. And we still did the spontaneous thing and I think, I think that's what made it kind of like. That's what made it dope, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so North Carolina was the next chapter of, our, of my life, our life, and it was a success. Like, it built us to be what we are now. That makes sense. So, uh, her dad, he approved of me, which was a big thing for me, um, because her dad means a lot to her. So when he said yeah, I was like, yeah, live. And her sisters, they were cute. They were small. I embraced them. They embraced me like their big brother. That was cool. I'm in training. I'm still motivated. I'm still I I sir. Yes, Navy. I I. Right? So, uh, I think that's what made everyone have the confidence in me to be the man that she needs, you know? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Long story short, um, North Carolina is over now, right? I go to Japan, and this this was gonna be the uh, the real struggle, right? Because now I'm in a whole different time zone, different country. Um, my first duty station, I'm in the fleet. My wife is still in Texas in training, right? And um, here's where I have to like really put my wife through the ringer, basically, right? So if anyone knows me, I have to be thorough, right? Because I was an anonymous. Like I, I was a black man, no kids, you know, like got a job, job. You know, so I was like, look, I'm just not gonna settle for no trash. I gotta make sure whoever I marry is strong, independent, uh, about me, for me, you know, and she gotta be cute, right? So she had the cute, 
she already had the about me for me, right? Because she came to see me and all that stuff. But I just had to know that she was strong. Like, I, I could, like, you know, really put her to the test. So I got over there and I broke up with her. Not for nobody else. That's not what it was. I broke up with her just to see what she would do. I wanted to know what was her psychological thinking. How was she going to process having love and then just, you know, what was going to happen? Because this was another thing that happened. I introduced her to God in Texas, right? So we're going to church and um, she grew up uh, Catholic. So to, to leave that practice, to come be a Christian was huge for her, right? When I left, she was still in church. So I needed to know where she was spiritually, right? So I just need to know, like, it's not a facade. Like, she's not faking all this just to get me to say, all right, you're the one, let me marry you. Nah, I gotta make sure, right? So I broke up with her. And uh, like a champ, she took it. You know, she didn't uh, flip out too much. But I could tell a little bit that it hurt her. Right? And not to be a jerk or anything, that's kind of what I was aiming to do. You know, just to see, you know, like, you know, I don't know, whatever. So I hurt her. And uh, then trying to get her back was kind of hard, right? So, because <laughs> she wasn't with it, right? So she was like, nah, nah. So now I'm thinking, like, wait, what you mean, nah, nah? What's going on? <laughs> so, uh, Unto my belief, she got a boyfriend, a little man friend, right? So I'm just like, okay, I should talk to somebody else. Right, cool, cool. But I'm still like, I don't care. Like, that's his business. Like, I'm trying to get with you. What's up, mom? Right? So, um, I guess she tried to play me like that. She's like, okay, I can, I can juggle both of y'all, right? So, she juggling both of us, two dudes, right? And I'm just like, okay. Um, yeah, so she's juggling two dudes now, and then I'm like, nah, you gotta get rid of it. You gotta choose. I put it in that, like, hey, look, I'm better for you. I'm better for you. So, choose, right? She said, oh, yeah, I got you. Choose. I choose you. Boom. Right? Ask catch. I choose you. Right? So, uh, I'm feeling like the lucky winner, right? So, how do you catch a girl cheating on you? from another country, this is how you do it. So, she gonna, uh, how does this happen? So she called me, right? And then she's like, oh, hold on, babe. My mom's calling me. So she hang up, I call her mom's. Mom's hasn't spoken to her in a week. Right, so I'm like, hi, mom. I'll call you later, my, uh, your daughter's calling me. She said, okay. Bye, love you, son. I said, bye. So I'm like, hey, how's mom? She said, oh, mom, she's good. She's good, she's good. I said, so how's her health? Because I asked mom about her health. And she was like, oh, she, her health? Yeah, her health's good. I'm like, yeah, your, your mom's been sick for a week now. Uh, you probably should really call her. I don't really care who you was talking to before. Just know we through, right? So now I broke up with her again. Done. Again. And now she's like, dang, what? He got me. Right? <laughs> he got me. Right, so um, that's just another detail that we just had to we had to go through these things, right? Uh, these are things that we had to like hit. I needed it out of our system before I marry her, because the Navy, I got I don't got no time to be with no girl who feeling like trying to like cheat on me, be with some Jody. So get this out your system now, girl. Go ahead. Just know if you're gonna do this, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Long story short. Uh, after the infidelities and uh, the constant me breaking up and <laughs> her breaking up with me, oh it was just great. It was great after that. After that, we got to that hump. We just had a, a great marriage. I asked her to marry me, and she said yes. And it was dope. Dope. Now we just got kids, and we just dope. We living life. Oh, and it was dope. All right, the end, y'all. They're going to be like, what happened? Bye.